Jason D. Hablon, the Executive Director of the Zeldin Cooperative Business Council. Therefore, as Governor of the great state of North Dakota, I do hereby proclaim October 2009 Cooperative Month in the state of North Dakota. There are 531,000 memberships of cooperatives in our state. As you reflect on the proportion of that as, as the size of our population, you'll see that many of our state's residents are served by cooperative businesses. Over 8,000 people are employed on a full-time basis by cooperatives. Many others are employed on a part-time basis. Together, these jobs <laughs> inject over $325 million into our economy each year. Those cooperatives, whether they be telephone, electric, credit union, or the many other businesses who choose that model of governance and member ownership are a foundation for stability in our state, in North Dakota, and especially during times of economic challenge. We're in this to help our customers. That's the purpose that cooperatives exist for, is to help our customers. And if we can figure out ways to help them use their energy dollar wisely, it's going to go a long way in their personal lives. That we're going to have our fights, brotherly love, and all this other stuff, but have somebody from the outside try to come in and separate us. It's very difficult. We have a culture. We have a belief that our whole existence is for that person at the end of our life. So, like so many things here on the prairie, if you want things done and you want them done right, you just roll up your sleeves and you do it yourself. So friends and neighbors, men and women, went door to door, like my grandfather, and collected $5 membership fees, and that was the seed money that began an incredible success story in our state. David, 90 what percent? Ninety-six percent of the geographical area. And I shudder to think what would have happened to that part of our state if the telephone cooperatives and rural electric cooperatives wouldn't have come to be. Uh, we've taken uh, many of those cooperative members uh, by a bus and plane to help uh, promote cooperatives uh, through legislation, uh, working with cooperatives and also supporting the education component of those cooperatives uh, throughout our state. Uh, Although our state has not been immune to the nation's economic struggles, Farm Credit's commitment and ability to serve agriculture in North Dakota remains strong.